Okay, so we have two identically configured systems. Uh, the only difference is that on the left, uh, there is a, a system running the GeForce GTX 950, and on the right, a system configured with the new, uh, a new graphics chip based on our Polaris architecture. Uh, so the Polaris architecture is a couple things. It's new video encode and decode. Uh, it is the new 14 nanometer FinFET production process. It is our fourth generation uh, graphics core next architecture. It's new memory controllers. It's, it's a lot of new stuff packed in there. And what's really significant here is we've connected both of these otherwise identically configured systems to uh, power meters. And this is the full system power consumption in watts. Um, but what we have here on the left is the GTX 950 consuming about 145 to 150 watts for the total system. Whereas the system based on the Polaris architecture is consuming 80 to 85 watts. So right there is about a 2x increase in performance per watt. Both systems are running 1080p, 60fps max settings, but we can do it at half the power. And this is one of the first Polaris architecture based products to come back from our manufacturing facilities. So we're not even done finishing the drivers. We're, we don't even have all the power efficiency silicon running yet. And already we are able to deliver a 1080p 60 FPS experience uh, in, uh, in half the power consumption. And these systems are essentially designed to be sort of a notebook class system. And I think that's really important to point out that we're taking notebooks very seriously with Polaris architecture. And we can deliver a 1080p 60 FPS sort of experience in a power envelope that makes a hell of a lot of sense for a, a small portable notebooks sort of system.